Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily turn any home stereo into a Bluetooth transmitter or receiver. Okay, first off, I'm going to show you guys how to use a, a Bluetooth device to turn your home stereo into a Bluetooth transmitter. And we're going to need a couple things for this. We're going to need a Bluetooth transmitter. In this case, we're using the Micus Swivelljack RTX, which is a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. We're going to use the receiver uh, later on in this video, so I'll show you guys how to hook that up really simply. Anyway, um, it's a really nice portable little unit here. It has the 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo jack, so you could plug this into a car stereo, um, laptop, your personal computer, anything you want to uh, to Bluetooth. And um, yeah, it's $39.99. Pretty decent little unit here. It has a uh, advertised transmitting distance of up to 100 feet. I think the receiver was 60 feet. I have not done any distance test on this yet, so we'll see, but it seems to work pretty darn good in the house. So what we're going to need to do to turn that stereo into a Bluetooth transmitter so you can listen to, say, uh, a portable Bluetooth speaker around the house, out in the yard, or something like that. Something, something that's a little bit more portable, but you could still use your stereo receiver for CD, um, video source, or anything. Anything that you want to have audio, um, you can do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the RTX Another thing you're going to need here is you're going to need a uh, quarter inch headphone jack, stereo headphone jack, and that converts to 3.5 millimeter. What we're going to do is we're going to plug the micus into that. Okay, I already have the micus turned on. This is very easy to pair, and I'm not going to show you guys how to pair because different devices paired differently to this one, but it's pretty easy. You push the uh, MFB, the multifunction button slash uh, on off button. You push that, turn the device on. You put your speaker that you're using in pairing mode, and then the, those two pair together. Once you have these two paired, you can now simply take your transmitter, plug it into your headphone jack, and I like using my headphone jack for a few uh, reasons. First of all, it's a really quick way to get an audio source from the stereo to the transmitter to your Bluetooth speaker. Also, I like to be able to use the volume control on the stereo to give this a little bit more gain. Um, different speakers, you know, this JBL is a pretty loud speaker, but some of these speakers, I'm going to say like this um, Altec Lansing Life Jacket could use a little more oomph. A little bit more drive so that's why I prefer to use it this way so let's see I've already got my audio source set on tape 2 tape 2 is hooked up through my computer as an audio source so let's hit a track here and go for it okay really nice sound JBL Flip 4 sound really, really nice. I'll put a link to this below. Okay. Then if you want to, you could you could go over to like your FM tuner. or go back to your source. So that's a good way to do that. Also, something else that you can do with these, you can hook these up to your um, to your headphones. So instead of using this external speaker, you can now go to some Bluetooth headphones. I like these, these are Micus um, uh, Stealth headphones, uh, SR71, I think was the model number on here. Very nice, natural sounding headphone. And I'm going to do another video on how to do this uh, uh, and uh, Bluetooth uh, your TV, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, okay, so now what we've done is, as you can see, we've turned the vintage home stereo into a Bluetooth transmitter. Okay, now we're going to turn that home stereo into a, a Bluetooth receiver. 
Stick with me. Okay, so we've already seen how to turn this into a transmitter. Now let's turn it into a receiver. And uh, what this will enable us to do, we can listen to our program playlist from our smartphone through our home stereo. So this will be kind of fun. All right, the Micus Swivel Jack RTX stands for receiver and transmitter. So now that we've already had it into the uh, transmitter mode, we're gonna turn it into the receiver mode. So we take this little switch here, and we go from TX transmit to RX receive. Okay. With the swivel jack comes this handy dandy conversion cord here that goes from 3.5 millimeter female to RCA male stereo output. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug this into the back of my home stereo and that's how we're going to get our audio source now I can plug this in a few different ways I can go into a tape 1 input I could do a tape 2 input I could use an auxiliary if I'd like so in this one I'm actually going to use another tape input and so let's plug that in and get that taken care of okay so now I've gone into the back of my receiver I've hooked up my little adapter cable to uh, tape input. Uh, my auxiliary on the stereo is already filled so I'm not going to mess with that. So I'm going to take the RTX and I'm going to pair it to my phone. So what you do is you push and hold the on off button for five seconds. This will start blinking blue. Then I will put my phone into pairing mode and I will find that it the RTX it says Micus RTX and it will show up on my phone so I've already done that just to save time here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the swivel jack plug it into our adapter cord and let's hit play on the smartphone okay now What's cool about this, if you're walking around the house with your smartphone, you want to turn your volume up and down, you can do that with your phone. So generally, what I like what I like to do is I like to use my stereo. Sounds like I gotta clean that volume pot. I like to turn that up a little bit on the stereo. With my smartphone, oh, just a little over half, we're about halfway up. Now I can jam on it if I want to. And that's how that works. You know, most home stereos, you only have to go up, you know, maybe about a fourth of the way, you know, up to about the nine o'clock position. Then if you really wanna, you know, uh, get some volume out of it, you just can control the, the volume with your smartphone. And I like that, that seems to work out really well. All right, well anyway, there you go. That's how you make any home stereo, vintage or modern, as long as it's got a headphone jack in it and an auxiliary in the uh, back, you can do this. You can turn it into a Bluetooth transmitter or receiver. And uh, fun stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below.